what's going on folks once again i'm nev from the riot review it is august 19th 2020 we're going to have a special focus on portland look at a bit of the news going on around the usa and then we're going to move right into a special report of uh mr adam the blm reporter the blm uh, transgender guardian who was kicked down so harshly we have new video of what went on we finally get a good picture of the whole picture we will review that after this anyways first off let's talk about pyre tires getting popped very popular thing <laughs> Yeah, you can hear that. So, Mr. Policeman, why are we doing this? Many people ask why we just can't arrest those committing the violence. When you have a large enough group of people that clearly outnumber the police, it is very dangerous for officers to wade into a crowd to arrest a person throwing fireworks or other objects at them. In addition, we, we do try to make arrests. There are several people who try to interfere with those arrests, use objects to shield the person committing the violence, and assault police officers when they're trying to make their arrest. Another strategy that has received a lot of attention is when officers disable vehicles during a dispersal. Vehicles and crowds are an extremely dangerous combination, as seen in other cities where vehicles have been intentionally driven into people. Recently, what we see is a vehicle operator intent on interfering with a dispersal and again, shielding people from being arrested. If this happens, officers may take action to increase safety for everyone, including puncturing tires. This is avoidable if vehicle operators do not engage in interference in criminal activity. Well, there you have it. So I really don't think that this vehicle, this particular vehicle, I've seen it before several places, I don't think that this vehicle was keeping the cops from the protesters, but I do think that uh, if they didn't disable the vehicle, the vehicle might have hit them from behind. All right, so up next we have press slash a protester, apparently. Eh, I don't really think it's a good thing for the press to be uh, telling people what to do or telling the narrative to another press member. They're supposed to be objective, right? Okay, bear in mind that that video was taken after this happened, right? So yeah, just people, a lot of people dancing, right? Yeah, look at those awesome uh, disco lights we got going. Just, just a lot of dancing, just a lot of spray paint. That's all that's going on here. This guy isn't about to, uh, no, that's not going to happen. Yeah, you know, it's just a bunch of spray paint, right, my guys? Mmm, much spray paint. Very wow. Next up, they go after this particular building, some government building, but to, starts with an M. I can't pronounce it. But yeah, peaceful protesting going down. It's a good thing that uh, the military and the feds and ICE left town, right? Because the only reason that people were getting more agitated was because uh, the feds were there, right? Those damn federal agents, look what they did. Alternatively, look what happened because uh, they neglected to beat these guys more. Or better. Once again, shutting down streets because you can't have a peaceful protest without shutting down streets and bringing riot shields, right? No, peace shields. We should call these peace shields. So the building that they're going after is the Mul Multun Mul Melanoma. The Melanoma building. And as you can see here on maps, there definitely is a lot of uh, official looking stuff that happens here. Anyways, these guys are so in love with their local government that they just had to throw a brick through the window and leave love notes telling them how happy they were to be Americans. And look at that, they drew on the wall, all communists are bastards. Just patriotism through the yin-yang here, folks. This is good stuff. 
Now this honestly kind of makes me a little bit sad. Our our hero, our bard with the drums, Tabitha Poppins, has been busted. Tabby, you were my spirit, uh, my, 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 my spirit, uh, my heart. I, I love you. I was going to say spirit animal, but that's offensive and I didn't mean to, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, Tabby. Anyways, Tabitha, 40, male, female, white, uh, six foot two inches. Yeah, that makes sense. Released on bail. Okay, Tabby, Tabby, come on back, girl. Get uh, get get some higher heels on. Leave the riot shield at home. Bring that drum back. Oh, I loved you with the drum, Tammy. You were uh, you were the most beautiful bard at the scene, girl. I still can't get over some of my friends thinking that there was actual military people at uh, at the Portland Federal Building and uh, thinking that uh, the protesters are peaceful. How, how do you pull peaceful from this? Alternatively, you know what? I think these guys just wanted to have a party with the police. They were so happy that the federal agents were gone. They just wanted to have a party, but there was this big fence between the two of them, so they had to fire in the uh, fireworks. Anyways, a new piece of information that the world's waking up to is that the Portland uh, protest area has its own RAZ, and it is Xavier Princess Warren. Now, I've heard her go by another name. I'm guessing that this I, that uh, she identifies as female uh, has also confirmed on film she was, uh, or sorry, he? Man, I am so confused here, and I do not mean to be uh, offensive or anything. This individual is a leader, perhaps one of the leaders, the biggest leaders. This is the Raz of Portland. Oh wait, that was just a typo from the same night. Anyways, our Autobot hero and protector. So this is the special feature, ladies and gentlemen. Our Autobot leader and protector has um, has gotten over a hundred and twenty. No, just almost a hundred and twenty thousand dollars on the gofundme that started out like yesterday support is pouring in for him and it's really cool to see one hundred and fourteen thousand bucks man almost 115 but seriously if this guy doesn't have insurance then is that actually going to cover the cost of a standard hospital visit it's just a uh, freaking insane so america definitely has some problems that are worth protesting like the cost of health care the the price of housing the uh did you guys know that uh, the sm smp i believe it is uh the top 500 stocks in in the stock exchange new york stock exchange are at an all-time high right now they went down one third and they're at an all-time high right now what the heck's going on with that that ain't right that can't be right anyways we got more pictures of him he's good now i was seriously concerned that uh, the guy was dead but he was beat down he doesn't remember anything okay so uh update everyone is uh, adam is feeling very ill he is still very dazed he doesn't remember anything that happened he thought his truck only had a dent in it i talked to him briefly and got some information from tammy they have been uh, swamped with calls messages and texts and need everyone to give him some space so please hold off on direct contact for a few days or until you uh, see an update uh, where he says otherwise i'm glad this guy uh, is getting good feedback the only interview adam will do is with the the detective trying to get uh, the people responsibility for the attack forensics are taking pictures of him now as i write this i i also will not give my interviews until my brother has time to absorb okay so we should definitely respect him but you got to see some of the message that people have been leaving for him oh man the message keeps changing and they're so hopeful um people saying thank you speedy recovery there was a marine here uh saying that he wishes he had his back earlier today somewhere here i'm very sorry for what happened to you you did not deserve that you and your girlfriend were very brave while the people who attacked you were cowards god bless and i'll pray for you yeah so so there it, it ain't all bad i mean there there are some good there's definitely some good there's always some good in the bad and some bad in the good that's just life though right that's the nuance of it as unimaginable as this situation is it really wakes people up to realize exactly what happens and exactly what anarchy is like what it does to people what it turns us into and what we shouldn't be so the guy, one of the guys that got a lot of the videos released a new video here. And we're going to check it out in a second. But first, I want to show you something really cool. Marquise Lee Love, his information has been dropped. His documentation, 
the uh, the friendly autistic folks over in 4chan weaponized their autism once again and got all of his information and it's kind of heartbreaking because he's got uh, he's got a kid he's got a kid before I had heard that he lives with his daughter but from going through this doc's information which I can't release because it's against YouTube terms of service but it's out there um, maybe she doesn't live with them anyways on his YouTube he put out this video that he was with this chick and he loves her so much and they're all this good stuff and stuff like that and then you scroll down and you see this dual C hey everyone please report this video this was me when I was just 16 years old I am now 25 I think this was yada yada my daughter and I are happily uh, my daughter and I are happy and we had no contact with him I am married with a family of my own I don't even receive child support thank you uh, please also he hit me while we were dating how embarrassing huh I wonder if that's actually her because that was only put up two days ago oh my god check out this comment up here you're going to look cute in a pillowcase skirt and a cherry pie lipstick uh, as you're being passed around for cigarette stuff guy anyways let's take a look at this video this is going to be a little bit but let's get into it all right so links in the description if you want to see the whole thing for yourself i definitely would recommend you seeing it for yourself the video starts following mr love and his security outfit chasing somebody down apparently for recording people or something like that i still haven't identified exactly why this guy's kicked out now this really reminds me of the Chaz Chop era where they had their own security people um, there was security people within the area but then again Chaz Chop was his own place is this what's going on here do we have people with walkie talkies and repeaters and uh, people who are in security Mr. Love has been known to be at previous protests protests they actually say protests he was actually known to be at previous riots and um a lot of people have said that he is basically a leader of the situation here he is uh sending somebody off what's curious here is the guy that's being sent off said i didn't i wasn't taking videos of anybody at the same time there okay at the same time this guy is taking videos of everyone and nobody is uh having a hard time with it i don't i don't get it but mr love is definitely an instigator to a lot of stuff he's not a peaceful man that becomes obvious very quickly within this video i mean by this point the guy's probably walked about two blocks and mr love is still following him the guy seems totally peaceful this isn't a reasonable you shouldn't this isn't the way we win friends and influence people this is where the original video originally picked up um the guy in the shorts takes off we don't really see him again uh the gentleman in the hoodie ends up taking uh the lady's uh bag and this is where the aggro begins this is where the aggro began. I don't know if these two knew each other before, but that is the woman in the red scarf right here who uh, the, who uh, Adam, the Autobot, is going to save. There's Adam, the Autobot. That's a second appearance. We've seen him walking past uh, before. Now, this woman really instigates. She did not need to break that out unless this is part of a previous scuffle. Um, she, she, didn't, she definitely escalated it, it with that, but then again, maybe... We, we don't know what happened between her and uh, Mr. Love in in the recent uh, in the recent times. We don't know what's going on, but she definitely escalates things w with her mace, in my opinion, in my opinion. But that's it's no excuse for what happened. There's absolutely no excuse for what happened to her and what happened, uh, what is about to happen. Now, one thing I want to mention is this 7-Eleven just blows my freaking mind is there a security guard in there everything's boarded up and they're open and there's like a riot going on here and and and, and it's fine and it's totally cool the 7-eleven is just open there's adam again adam the autobot and uh, oh i think they just took her uh, her baton and uh, she gets really upset about that and then somebody steals her skateboard it just de-escalates from that there 
this guy in the hoodie is the same person that takes her bag. It's the same person that takes her bags. Now, one thing I want to mention in all these videos is I, I can't really talk about uh, black matters because I, I, I don't come from, I don't know anything about it. I don't know what it's like to be black. I, uh, I have black friends, but I'm from Perdom. Oh, she maced a guy right there. That's not winning her friend. I think she just maced a girl right there too. I don't know if these people had anything to do with what was going on with it, but she maced them and that definitely escalated the situation. Stealing the skateboard escalated the situation. Anyways, I can't say anything about blacks, uh, because I don't know what it's like to live in the States as a black man in certain places but i do know what it's like to live uh to live as a male as a white male and i do know what it's like to live in, in white situations so when i see stuff going down in portland i can talk about that all day long but i have difficulties when it comes to black lives matter because let's face it there has been racism there are issues but also there are issues within the black communities within the black neighborhoods just as there are issues within every house um, it, it definitely seems like there is a problem within uh, black communities that blacks have to deal with that nobody else can touch because it's not our business, but it's still an issue and it needs to be dealt with. I think I can get away with, with saying that without sounding super racist. I mean, you can say up and down that uh, black people had a harder time and racism kept them back. And I totally believe that that's a thing, but in the end you have to you have to pick yourself out of that you have to pull yourself out of that and are you so as we can see the miss red scarf let's call her uh trans she's she's transgender but i don't want to be calling her that because that's uh, not who she is she's she's red scarf and let's face it uh, it definitely seems like she's a little bit crazy she's a little bit out there she says later she has her therapist she should be leaving now she doesn't have her skateboard she's lost her baton but she she should definitely not be here this is not a good scene she's already maced about three people and you know that's not how you win friends in influence people so it sucks she should be should be getting out of here but she doesn't seem to be quite smart enough she doesn't know that uh that um i shouldn't say she's not smart enough she definitely seems like someone that has problems and this is a situation that should be dealt with with a therapist and not a cop uh nobody no, nobody uh, like she doesn't deserve to be thrown in the back of a cop car and booked for d domestic disturbance or anything like that someone should just know to get her the heck out of there though and things are not getting any better because of the mace that she used on people and uh and because they're not reasonable let's face it anyways this guy what's he walking around like that with his hoodie for you know he's up to something you should know as soon as you see someone like that you should know i'm pretty sure this is one of the chicks that got mace by the way so as we can see, Adam, the good guy, Autobots, trying uh, to keep uh, keep the fight from going ultim on ultimately. I've heard people say that Princess is in this video, but I can't uh, say myself. So the fighting definitely continues. Miss Red Scarf is uh, chased around. She just got her bag stolen from her. Uh, the guy with the hoodie stole it from her. She doesn't get it back, and she won't leave without her stuff. And ultimately, that's the reason why a lot of this started. Now, if we fast forward it a little bit, we'll see that things really start to, to pick up. As in, people start to... Oh, my God. Oh, man. She's probably maced every one of those girls by now, but she's not leaving. She won't leave. And, man, you know what happens when some girls get crazy, when some street girls get crazy. Now, check this out. This is, this is good guy with a knife. This is good guy... This this is what I want to say. The honest to God, Black Lives Matter is I can't say, but in my heart I want to think that uh, that there there there's uh, there's many people like this. But this is the only guy here, stand up looking guy, got a knife. He's just like, just don't do this, just don't do this. I want to know when he gets separated from her, because he he he's he's not playing here. He's not playing. He's got a knife in his hand, and this guy right in front of him is saying Black Lives Matter. She's a white C unit. She's a black lot. She, this guy keeps saying it. And I keep getting the feeling like this is one of the enforcers. This is one of the security people that are uh, that are here for it. I th I think this is Princess right here. I think that's Princess. Guys, you know, I 
What we own around this bitch, nigga? Now here we have a second guy that, uh, or third guy that's actually trying to help out, and uh, I'm pretty sure later he pops up too. So there are there are some good guys. You want to want most good guys aren't around on the streets at night. The type that would stand up for this kind of thing, this the type that would uh, make sure that this stuff didn't happen. They're 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 not on the streets at night. Nothing good happens at these riots at night. Now by this point, she's just saying, just give me my stuff back and I'll leave, and that absolutely does not happen now for the most part this is what i wanted you guys to see what happened beforehand what got us into the situation oh okay so that might be princess right there let's see what he has to say sheep whatever Anyways, folks, I'm running out of time here. I got to do my family stuff. Looks like Princess has lost all interest over here. And ultimately, that's what I wanted to show you guys, what happened beforehand, the unfortunate situation that brought us uh, to the unfortunate end that we're at now. But luckily, Adam is alive. There's uh, hopefully some positive, some positivity will come from this. People will look at what uh, they are capable of, of what is capable of happening within this anarchy, and they will see the, their own ugly faces. They'll see their ugly reflection in the mirror, and they'll change who they are. Let's hope, because if they don't, we're all going to be freaking damned. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nev from the Riot Watch. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. But, uh, you know, more importantly, drop uh, drop some money in the bucket for Adam there. Links in the description for all this stuff. Take a look at the links. Take a look at this entire video. Get your own idea. I'm just some guy with an opinion, right? But at least I try to be objective. And I hope you guys do too. Have a good one, folks. And once again, take care of each other.